Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de of the Brain Wagon blog. It's a Saturday night and I wasn't feeling too uh, mentally sharp, but I figured I'd go and tinker something together. Um, I've managed to get uh, some of this analog uh, RGB LED strip stuff. It's, uh, you can get it from a number of uh, manufacturers. Um, I got mine from uh, Tata Electronics, who I use to get all sorts of cheap stuff. And it looks like this. It's got an adhesive uh, 3M stuff on the back. And it consists of segments about uh, a couple inches long, each of which has three RGB LEDs. And they're all wired together. So these aren't individually addressable. But uh, a meter of this from Tata cost about $10. Which, when you think about it, isn't really all that bad. You can actually cut these uh, apart at these um, copper lines here, and then you just scrape off the uh, the plastic a little bit, and then you can uh, solder down some wires. And I wrapped mine with electrical tape. Um, I must admit that uh, this is a project that isn't totally inspired, totally swiped from Lady Ada's uh, tutorials. Uh, I'd never done this before. There's nothing complicated about this. Um, I picked up some of the uh, little logic level MOSFETs. Um, in theory, we could drive a huge strip of these with these, but uh, I just trimmed off a few segments of this so that I could experiment. I'm driving this from a 9 volt battery and my ever popular old NG Arduino that seems to just get pressed into service for all these weird projects. And, well, let me plug it in and then we'll show you what it does. And, well, here it is. And of course, you can't see anything with this light on, so I'll go ahead and turn this light off, and it fades through different colors. The colors are a lot more distinct in uh, real life than they are here. Um, in theory, I could power this from 12 volts, um, but I'm just doing it from 9, so it's not as bright as it could be. But uh, you can see uh, the reflection of my hand about how it's changing color. And it's just the simplest possible circuit. Uh, I didn't actually use Lady It is Code because. Uh, writing the code is really easy. I just wrote it in a slightly different way, but it's the same sort of thing using analog write from pins 3, 5, and 6, of which are pulse width modulated. The circuit is dead simple, just some MOSFETs, ground on one side, uh, gate uh, signal on the other, and uh, the middle pin goes to the appropriate pins on the LED. And you can, you can make a colorful uh, light. So this could be used for any one of a number of things. The reason I did this was I'm uh, sort of going to be mentoring some kids and uh, you know they all want to know how to do this and I didn't want to go in front of them and look like a fool. <laughs> and it turns out that I probably wouldn't have. This seems to work just fine. But I also really like these, uh, these uh, adhesive strip ones because they actually are pretty economical as far as an RGB LED goes and uh, the brightness seems okay and it's pretty cool. Also, the logic level MOSFETs, good deal. Uh, these are the ones that Lady Ada uh, recommended, and uh, they seem to work really well too. So this is no big deal. Um, I was actually going to work on my uh, QRSS beacon, but uh, I'm kind of waiting for a new oscilloscope to appear in my uh, future, which hopefully maybe by the end of the next week I'll see that. So that'll be great. And uh, anyway, this is just a relaxing thing to do. <laughs> This has been Mark Van Wettering of the Brain Wagon Blog.